What's up guys, we're out here in Colorado. We've had an awesome two days so far. Two bulls already down. Big D shot that giant yesterday morning, just a heck of a hunt, 13 yards, one of the best elk hunts of our lives. But now we're gonna bring you our Kentucky hunt, my Kentucky hunt from two weeks ago. I shot that real old big body buck down there in Kentucky, Northern Kentucky, but I think y'all enjoy it. We had a heck of a time, some crazy stuff along the way, but nonetheless got it done on day five. Kentucky. We just landed from Kansas yesterday. Went home, kissed the wife and the babies. Took them to school this morning, and now we headed to Kentucky, Western Kentucky, Northwest Kentucky. I'm wanting to go hunt this farm a long time with good buddy Austin. So today's the day. I've never hunted Kentucky, but it just kind of reminds me of you know it's where the the south meets the midwest especially as far as midwest genetics you know a lot of dry land crops you just don't get that a ton south of here that really do well like these beans look so i'm excited to get in a tree i am excited to get in a tree but we're here ashburn farms this is it a little nice for me I love it. This is incredible. I guess we'll unpack. Hey, good. How you doing? Good. 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 Jeff Lindsay. Hey, nice, nice to meet you, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I got you. I got you a brownie, Cole. Brownie. I, I put my bow up there. Set it right there. What kind of clover you guys plant? Obviously a white. Uh, yeah, bright and a little bit of red. Mm -hmm. And then we'll have. snacks. We're in this redneck about 15 foot up so I'm gonna get my get my victory shafts, make sure I'm ready to go, draw a couple times and these deer feeding this clover they come through this neck. My brother's shot is 31 yards. This is cool. going to uh, in the woods spot we've been waiting on the right wind to get in there so maybe the night's the night maybe I should take the baby doll head <laughs> need some need a little change of look night three here Papa says I gotta take it with it <laughs> with me it'll be great luck or it'll be real bad luck I don't know. Well, I'm looking you my pack on the yard okay what what the heck let's <laughs> put her in here 
spray us up down here. It will be a 15 footer tonight. This is closer to 10, but it never hurts to shoot out of here. Similar type chair set up tonight. It's a big redneck like this, so we'll be hunting in style. I'll go for the, you clear? Yep. Go for the buck here. is legit. I kept feeling like I forgot something, forgot something, forgot something. I did. I forgot my binoculars. Luckily I had a backup pair and Cole had a pair. He said my shot is probably going to be out of this window. This is what they call Party Cove. They got an incredible operation here. They they drop, when they got people that hunt, they buddy hunt, whatever, they're always dropping each other off with the truck because the truck moves in and out so much. They got the nets a working farm. They got native grass, soft edges around every field. Every field has a clover field and either beans or corn next to it. So the goal is for the deer to come out, work through the clover, and then get in the destination food field. So, I mean, we've learned a ton from them. I've already lined up the logger on our Georgia farm where we have the pine trees that are kind of sectioning our fields off and we're going all with natives. Um, it just so many pros to that from from nesting cover brood and rear co rearing cover um you know more of a buffer dampen noise lights everything so we've learned a lot at the ashburn farms here it's a beautiful farm we're really blessed to be able to hunt here don't take it for granted we decided to extend our day our hunt one more two more days uh, maybe you know much to the chagrin of my wife and kids but it's deer season. We gotta do what we gotta do, baby. Plus, I got a kid coming in November, and I gotta, I gotta get it while I can. Scared a lot. 
Flying pretty good. They were flying real good. We got out here and scared them all up. About two thirds of the way to the limit. Nice cool morning. Coolest weather I've been in all year. One of the phones though. Here comes two right here. Yeah. Turn. Where did they come back? Maybe here comes some bunch right here. Right down this line. If I can pick one out. Got him. Alright, the bad vibes in today. Baby gonna be gone. We're only going through all this to make sure Fafa can have the remains. We're gonna burn it down. Put in a little vial so he can have something to hang out with. For the record, I did not drink this. I'm just gonna light the old baby head on. It's good vibes or bad vibes around here. We choose the good vibes. That thing was creepy looking and we did not want to throw it away for fear that we'd see it again. Now we know we ain't gonna see it again. Just letting you guys know, curse is over. Creepy baby doll head that gave everybody bad vibes, except for Fafa, there's no more. Anyone habitat's good for deer, it's good for turkeys, good, good for, for mice, yeah. yeah. yesterday party code we got a little front coming in we uh we feel good about tonight it's the best weather we've had yet but it's also we uh we burnt that nasty crazy looking baby head so uh we just felt like i was putting out some bad vibes or something some bad luck so we, if we don't kill one tonight fafa says our season could be cursed i don't believe in that kind of stuff let's kill a deer tonight and all is well let's head back to georgia and see the family They have not had a rain in 35 days, so I'm glad to see it. Even if it messes up our hunt, I don't care because these guys deserve a rain. They need it. Think about that. See if this wind's supposed to be west northwest consistent. Very good. Very good. Put my jammer on. Here, right there. 
summer cow baby. jumped in last night. You see some dark blood, a little bit of lighter blood in there this morning. 
our hope is he's going to keep bleeding as he goes down past this big blowdown, but I don't know. Fingers crossed. Right here. He is bleeding. Dude, I think I walked right here. Cole, didn't you walk right there? I don't remember where I Hopefully he's dead, huh? Oh, he's dead. Oh, that was the old duck call strategy, push him out. <laughs> so he went, what, another hundred? Oh, thank you, Lord. Ooh, he is a toad. Yeah, I mean, now it's a little further back than, you know, you could argue it was on video. Oh, man. Look at those teeth. Cool deer, still got some velvet hanging off. FaceTime my wife, but. Whew. There you go. Took a while. Oh, Daddy, you will come too. Show, oh, show first. You want to come too? Look, baby. What is that? What is it? What kind of deer? What kind? A buck? That is, uh, well, I'm glad you found him. Praise the Lord. Well, it was a sleepless night. We thought he would be dead right inside the wood, woods here last night. We came in here. We actually jumped him up. He ran over here probably another 100, 150 yards and was stone cold dead this morning. But he hadn't been dead that long. And, you know, just probably maybe the edge of the lungs, maybe edge of a single lung. But we're thinking it probably got all over. And, uh, you know, looking back, we probably should have given him overnight. But... Uh, we did what we thought was the best decision at the time, uh, but learned a valuable lesson, you know, just get, they're only going to get more dead and dude's got velvet hanging all off the back of these little clusters, corals, and what do you think, Todd, one of the oldest deer on the farm? Oh yeah, he's definitely six, seven, maybe even eight years old, he even looked older last year. Yeah. He is, uh, he is an old warrior, he's got this huge scar on the back here. Just beat the heck. We joked around. When I got here, I said, Todd, point me towards the oldest buck on the farm. And here we ended up. We, I brought some Wagyu steaks up for the guys, and he's like, you want to see our Wagyu? He sent me a picture of this deer. I was like, dang, I like to let the air out of that one. And it worked out. Thank the Lord. Buck down in Kentucky. First one of the year. The baby doll head curse is over. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this hunt. Dave's Kansas hunt is coming up next, and shortly after that, these elk kills from out here in Colorado. So if you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and we'll see y'all next week.